So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and... I'll... You're... Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. apologize for Colonel Auden's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Right there, you're some. Don't move, uh, Mr. President. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, this is Lieutenant Williams. I have an unauthorized individual here who says he's supposed to speak with you. I'm surprised to hear from you, Lieutenant. I don't recall authorizing you to contact me directly. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about that. I, I just, uh, it just seemed out of the ordinary. I apologize. Apology noted, Lieutenant. Yes, I instructed our friend to come up to the control room. No questions, no interference. Am I understood? I understand, sir. Again, I apologize for the interruption. Allow our friend to pass and report your superior for reassignment, Lieutenant, at once. Yes, sir. Hello. I guess you'd better be on your way. Sorry for the, uh, for the interruption. Attention to all Raven Rock personnel. This is Very your good. president Continue speaking. Continue down this hallway and I invited our guests end. from Vault 101 to my house. Please do not impede his progress. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello. Retreating.
retreating! Face to face at last. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. You should feel privileged. You are now privy to one of the few... I assure... Let's not get bogged down in the details just... You and I have a... I understand... Just what, what I'm gonna add. The good people of this country, my soul, mutations like the super mutants and ghouls, where others have failed, the purify with a simple. That's all. I must oppress it. I'm afraid I won't be persuaded. I'm sure
got on your mind. Partner, try Moriarty's oldest drinks in the capital wasteland. What is it? All of us here thank you for Christ's sake, you don't... All better now, you... For Christ's sake, you don't...
You done? Good. Can I do for you? You know, I... You... Good hunting! Daddy-o! It's good to see you alive!
Hail. All I'm saying is, the longer we sit here, the more time they have to shore up their defenses. We should hit them sooner rather than later. We barely have the manpower to keep the Citadel fortified. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the Pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the reward. I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to follow orders. Yes, Father. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the... Then we must... If you have it... I see. Thank Perhaps. If the Enclave has the Gek, there's nothing stopping them from starting the Purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the Pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, Sarah. The Pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean... Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't, it won't matter in the long run anyway. Then it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know... Sure thing. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly, before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out!
Titanium alloy supplemented by photonic resonance barrier. Probability of mission hindrance. Zero percent. In 
Significant obstruction detected. Composition. Titanium alloy supplemented by... I enhanced photonic resonance barrier. Established. Stratagem. Inadequate. Revised stratagem. Initiate photonic resonance overcharge.
Mechanism is the very definition of failure. Tactical assessment. Red Chinese victory. Impossible. Something to say? Yes, by all means, let's. something to say? Yes, by all means, let's.
Target lost! Yeah. Go to weapon time! Elder Lion! Maintaining fire! You again. I can't say I'm surprised. There's nothing. You don't have. Ain't no magic.
you again. There's nothing to... I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. You're in over your head. Once this... You again. There's not. I. I am sworn to protect the presidency. The ch I wouldn't expect. Such arrogance. If that's your wish, so be it. Take some small comfort in knowing you'll have little time to regret the decision. Takes care of that. Fine. Let's. Hello. Hello. Is anyone there? Something. There. Dr. Dr. Lee. Lee. Sarah Something's Lyons. wrong with the purifier. I'm in the control room. Please, Please here. What's answer. going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental. Some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for selling. One of us... If that's how you want to do this... What? Mm. this. Ah, of course! Uh, my immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber. But you have already altered mine. The least I can do is return the favor, cycle the airlock, and we'll put an end to this.
And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. So ends the story of the lone wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes.